Welcome to A Day in the Life of a Mahjong Player. On this episode, I'm going to do an unboxing. Can you guess what this is? Ooh. It's the size and shape of a Mahjong set. My first vintage set. Maybe my first and only, I don't know. I know I have the bug, but I'm going to try really hard to refrain from purchasing many vintage sets. I might get, this is a, an American set, so I might get one vintage Asian set. I saw one this last weekend in Santa Barbara. Gorgeous. Judy's Singapore Amber Tiles. I'm on the hunt for those. A couple weeks ago, I did an interview with Greg Swain on her book, Mahjong, The Art of the Game. It's a beautiful pictorial. So I'll leave a link below the video if you wanna take a look at that particular interview because it's got lots of information about vintage sets. So during that interview, one of the viewers instant messaged me and said that she had a set that she was looking to sell to a person who would get good use of it. So she sent me some pictures and I decided to purchase the set. And that's what we're gonna look at right here. I haven't seen it yet. I'm so excited. So thank you, Stacy K from California. I know that you put a special price on that for me and I truly appreciate it. And this set will be loved and well used. Without further ado, let's dig in. deep with that knife. I'm kind of dangerous with knives. Ask my husband. He gets nervous anytime I have a knife. If anybody cringe during that process, right pound cringe in the notes. Here it is. Oh, look at that. Red box. I like red. It's got a few nicks on it, but it's old. Not bad. Not bad at all. I mean, I'm going to use it. I'm going to take it with me places, so it'll probably get some more marks on it. All right, here we go. We're going to open it up. Uh-oh. Okay, I may not travel with this box because, there we go. I don't know if I would trust that. Have you ever had a case open up and your tile spill on the ground? That's not gonna happen to these. I might have to get a special case because if these latches are not trusty, this one's a little sticky. There we go. Maybe that was a one-time thing. All right, I guess it's pretty trusty. So here we go. Oh, oh my goodness, it's gorgeous. Okay, well, let me read this first. Let's see. Let me just take a quick scan. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and read it. Michelle, I'm so happy this gorgeous set will be used by you. 
It was found sitting in a case at an antique shop in Fort Lauderdale. Now it's being brought back to life. Yay! I wish you many years of playing and winning. Let's play online sometime. Enjoy. Kiss, hug, Stacy. All right, so here's some info on the set. 1956 Royal Depth Control. I don't know what that means. Okay, by A&L Manufacturing, which I think is low, L-O-W-E, I believe. I don't know. I thought I heard the word low somewhere. A&L, I'll have to look into it. A&L Manufacturing in New York. Catalan Vintage Mahjong set in original case. Ooh. It's very nice. So we have all the tiles. I made sure of that before I bought it, of course, and I know Stacy wouldn't do me wrong. So no jokers. So this set is dated for the mid fifties. Okay. Let's look at the racks. Green. Jade. Red, yellow, purple, love purple. Can you tell? Okay, so we have five racks for a five player game. That's nice. And they're all that really nice, heavy Catalan feel. Okay, I'm gonna take these out and we're gonna dig into the tiles. Whoopsies. Look, a better, a Catalan better. Let's see. East, wall, player two, player three, player four. So if you have an E, that would be east. The kanji, that would be for the wall. Let's do it like this, okay. So on the better, the kanji is for the wall. The E, you guessed it, would be for East. Then we have a two, a three, and a four. So you find who you wanna bet on. You turn it upside down, put it on the table, and wait for the game to end, and then reveal who you bet on. That's nice, a green better. Very nice. We have some pretty green dice. Those look original. All right, now for the tiles. Pretty tiles. Let's see here, I think. I think what I'm gonna do is put one of each out. One of each. These are the original trays too, I think. They sure look original. Oh, dragons. They're so pretty. And we've got lots of flowers. and some Joker stickers. So I could play American style. Okay, now that those are all out, I'm gonna put these in order. Let's see. One, two, three. These are gonna hurt my OCD just a little. I don't know the deal with the flowers. They're like, they don't make sense. Okay, there are, there are a bunch of different colors and the numbers are kind of wonky. I might have to get a little help from Johnny Levine so that my OCD doesn't hurt when I play this with these flowers. 
we have a 1, 2, 2, 3, 2, 3, 4, 2, 3, 4, 1, 1 in those orders because they're different colors. Red, green, blue, gold. So I'm probably gonna get a hold of Johnny Levine to see if I can get some matching flowers. A one, two, three, four set of flowers in two, two different suits or colors. So, so for example, I'll probably ask for a green one for these. Looks like professions and then probably a one flower for these. And then these will just be extras. But for now, probably what I will do is just, because we need a one, two, three, four. When, when we play, um, when you play Wright-Patterson style, you need to have flowers, eight flowers, and they need to be seasons in flowers. So I need a one, two, three, four for, you know, two sets of one through four. And because they don't match, see like here, the one is different. So it might be a little bit confusing for people, but what I could say actually is the flowers with the number on top are one type and then the flowers with the numbers on the bottom because it doesn't really top. matter if it's a profession or a flower or a season if that part doesn't matter what matters is if you end up with one two three four in one type because then that's a bouquet and you get score for that so I have a workaround for now, but I'm very happy, Stacy. I love it. Very pretty. Look at these dragons. I love it. And of course we have jokers. Well done. Very nice set. I can't wait to start using it. I'm going to use this set for my Wright Patterson exercises. So for the next cycle, you'll start seeing this beautiful vintage set for my Wright Patterson exercises. All my Charleston modeling, chain reaction sprints, Charleston fours. I'm going to use these. And solitaire. Oh yeah, we can't forget about solitaire. It'll be so fun playing with these pretty tiles. Look how pretty that is. Pretty yellow. I think she said it's called butter butter yellow i like butter butter's good in moderation okay so there's the vintage set i'm so very excited and thanks again stacy i'm going to be really enjoying this set if you like this video give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to my channel consider subscribing be sure to click the bell if you do that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to see something fun and interesting about Mahjong. Between now and the next episode of A Day in the Life of a Mahjong Player, may all your picks be keepers. Mm -hmm.